Welcome to Medication Monday. This is where we go over a different EMT drug that we administer out in the field. We do it specifically in EMT drug card format. As always, follow your local protocol and scope of practice. Enjoy. Today's medication is called pancuronium, or Pavilon is the brand name. So it falls under the class of non-depolarizing neuromuscular blockers or paralytics. Your mechanism of action is that it binds to the acetylcholine receptor at the neuromuscular junction, inducing paralysis. The indications are going to be like every other paralytic that we use in EMS, and it's going to be rapid sequence intubation or rapid sequence induction. As always, whenever we go over dosages, just make sure that you abide by your local protocol and stay within your scope of practice. The dose is typically going to be 0.06 to 0.1 milligrams per kilogram slow IV push. It's repeated every 30 to 60 minutes for maintenance. The pediatric dose is 0.04 to 0.1 milligrams per kilogram, also slow IV push. And your contraindications are using with caution in patients with hepatic or renal disease or failure and neuromuscular disease and also the inability to control the airway. Adverse reactions of pancuronium can include hypertension, tachycardia, dysrhythmias, bronchospasms, PVCs, apnea, respiratory failure, salivation, and transient hypotension. Drug interactions. Tachycardia may be potentiated by positive chronotropic drugs. Just a heads up on that. How it's supplied. It's typically supplied in a 1 or 2 milligram per milliliter vial. And just a few side notes about pancuronium or things to keep in mind is that it doesn't change your patient's LOC or perception of pain. So make sure that the patient is sedated before the paralytic is given and ventilatory support is ready and also that sedation is maintained. Depending on your protocol, decreased dosages for patients with renal failure, liver failure, or neurological disorders should be considered. And just one little side note is that the onset is pretty quick. It is about 30 seconds. As always, guys, remember to abide by your local protocol and stay within your scope of practice. This video is purely informational for those in the EMS field and never meant to be used in the place of local protocol, medical direction, or formal education. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you next week. Bye!